Hi, my name is Brendan Buckley and I am really excited to share with you a composer whom I think a lot of people should get to know. Now, I discovered her while I was doing research for a recital a few years back and I wanted to include music that was more than just music by dead white guys. Now, don't get me wrong, dead white guys are great, the music is really, really beautiful, it's wonderful to sing, wonderful to listen to, and since they've been dead for a while, their music is mostly public domain, which is free. Which I like. Because I'm cheap. I mean, I got my wedding ring with a Groupon. A hundred dollars off, how can you go wrong? Her name is Lori Leitman, and she writes not only songs, but also opera, oratorio, and choral music. She's had her music performed in places like Wakemore Hall in London and Carnegie Hall in New York City. She's had commissions from a bunch of opera companies, including Seattle Opera and Opera Colorado. And she's held residencies in institutions like the Hart School and Eastman School of Music. Now let's talk about why her music is so very special. Leitman's style, in my opinion, is really, really unique. You listen to a lot of music out there and you can usually pretty quickly tell who wrote it. Mozart, Strauss, Schubert, Debussy, Beethoven, Faure, and the like. Hers is different from that. It's really based upon the text. She herself has said, everything I do, every melody I write, is absolutely derived from the words. I'm going to show you how. The first song I'll sing for you is called Echo, text by Christina Rossetti. I'm just going to read the indication at the beginning. Tempo should be flexible throughout, with a slight push for a crescendo and slight relaxation for a decrescendo. This is all over the place harmonically, oftentimes in ways that you just don't expect. And there's this really cool conversation from the left hand to the right hand in the piano. The second song I'll sing for you is called The Apple Orchard. This is text by Dana Joya. It's totally different. And there's almost this very sort of like conversational line, the melody and the voice itself and it's much more dance-like than the first one. It's really, really interesting. And it's almost like songs written by two different people, but it's the same person. Why? Text. You'll find out. Now, let's talk drinks. Now, for this, I recommend scotch. And I recommend scotch for a couple of reasons. One, I don't like mixed drinks. Two, there's this reputation that scotch is like a man's drink, you know, you wear the tweed and you sit in front of a fire and you've got your hound or whatever. It's bubkiss, although I have the tweed. Anyways, there are female distillers, there are female blenders, there are female owners, there are female founders of new distilleries. If James Bond can enjoy a martini, anybody of legal age can enjoy scotch. You just have to go out. And try some. Now, what I have here is Lagavulin 16. This is made by Lagavulin Distillery, which is on the island of Isla, which is just to the east of the mainland of Scotland. It's a cool, cool island. Lots of really, really great distilleries there. Isla Scotch is mainly smoky and peaty, which I like. Now, one last thing. I want to take a moment to thank Reagan Russell for playing for me, and I want to thank Opera on Tap for giving me the opportunity to sing this music for you. I hope you enjoy. Come to me in the silence of the night. Come to me, come to me. Come in the speaking silence of a dream. Come with soft, rounded cheeks and eyes as bright as sunlight on a stream. Come back in tears of memory, hope, love of finished years. Oh, dream how sweet, so sweet. Should have been in paradise where 
soul's brim full of love abide and meet. With thirsting, longing eyes, watch the slow door that opening, letting in, lets out no remember it the apple orchard we wandered through one April afternoon climbing the hill behind the empty farm a city boy I'd never seen a grove burst in a full flower The bittersweet perfume of blossoms mingled with the dust. A quarter mile of trees in fragrant rows arching above us. We walked the aisle alone in spring. Cathedral. We had the luck, if you can call it that, of having been in love but never lovers. The bright flame burning, fed by pure desire. Nothing consumed, such secrets brought to love. was a moment, a moment when I stood behind you, reached out to spin you toward me, but I stopped. What more could I have wanted of that day? Everything, everything of course. That was the point to learn that what we will not grasp 